on the Dublin Everest Lotsi. Heading to Rivendell in Debouchet. We just climbed all this elevation and now we gotta go back down there and back up there. I don't do gear jumps. That's why I don't get these huge numbers of clients because most people on Everest have never climbed before. We was just hanging. I can't seem to hold on to Look at this bridge. Got to the river. Now back up 600 meters to Tenguishe. Key that I won't forget too soon. I can keep on losing you. I can keep on losing That is a lot harder than I remember. I'm also like 20, 15, 20 kg heavier. That's a lot of shit to bring up. Hell. This is the Tengboshe Monastery. Look at that. I'm a Dablam. Ever somewhere there. They're eating over there in the bakery. I'm gonna go take a break. This is our high point for today. 38, 80, almost 3,900 meters. The rest is downhill today. I can do downhill. Tomorrow. It's early morning, we're at Debauche, and we're gonna head up to the next lodge, which is about a three hour trek. It's cold, but uh, it's super clear. And uh, as you saw, those peaks are beautiful. We're at about 12,000 feet. I don't really feel that sick, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah. trek out of the fabulous Dingboche over there. We went up to see the Lone Sea Face. Just in a climatization hike, we went up to 4,600 meters. And now lunch and then base camp. And then the real climbing begins. Just look how beautiful that is. This day. Safe summit in. Safe climbing. Cheers. Let's all come down, fingers and toes. Uh, great stories. Okay. Say okay. hey, happy birthday to Barbara. <laughs> oh, we do. <laughs> <laughs> for Scott Fisher, Rob Hall, all the others who died on the south side. You can see that camp over there. Some climbers, before they go climb Everest, they do uh, Lobuche. There's a big peak over there to acclimatize. But we won't. It's a personal choice by the guides, so we don't do that. But there it is. And Everest, if we wind up, you see that wall of mountains? That's the end of the valley and if you go to the right that's where you enter the western coombe which is the glacier the mouth of mount everest so all this down here is the very very beginning 
of the Everest Glacier. That's where it leads to. And here is Lobuchet. Very hungry. And this is Lakfa. Yes. Look at this. That's the mouth of the Everest Glacier. If you can see in the very far distance, that's base camp where all the white snowy stuff is, the icy stuff. But that moves every day, six feet a day, all the way down the Everest Glacier. Almost at Gorok Shep, and then another hour to base camp. This is the last outpost before base camp. We're gonna get a little Danish pastry rest, and then make the last hour trek to base camp. Our home for the next month and a half. There's base camp all the way and here's the deadly ice fall man I think we're somewhere over there. So I gotta go down here cross over <sighs> Forgot how hard this is the crazy thing Is by the end of the season I can do that trek Easy I can run it in like 50 minutes we was just hanging, I can't seem to hold on to Dang, the people that know me best The key that I won't forget Too soon, I can't keep on losing you